Morning viewers, as you can see it's raining um, and it's been raining for days and the creek's been up and we haven't been able to get across and do any uh, sheep work or anything so I haven't got uh, any video, any fresh video to show you this week anyway. So you might remember last week we uh, did the crutching and on the uh, ewes and, and we started on the lambs. Well I thought I'd show you what happened the next day. Uh, Joey and Jason had to go off and to other shearing commitments. Uh, so uh, Jason's dad, Barry, filled in for us uh, and finished off the lambs. So uh, I'll show you a bit about uh, Barry. He's a bit of a legend. He's 69 years old and still been, she been shearing for 54 years. So, uh, so yeah, he's he's an absolute legend. I also thought I'd go back to the week before where we went up to uh, the other block and we crutched the weathers and the hoggets. And at the other end of the spectrum to Barry is young Jack Lockyer who's just starting his shearing career. He's 16 years old, he's done a little bit of shearing but mostly he's been crutching um, and he's, he's having a bit of a crack and by gee he's doing really well too. So I'll show you a little bit about uh, Jack um, and, and Stevie as well. I think it'll probably end up being a fairly short video. Um, but the fact that we're showing you one fellow that's 69 years old and one fellow that's 16 years old probably gives you a bit of an indication of the shortage of uh, shearers in the industry at the moment. Um, partly that's driven by the fact that the New Zealand shearers haven't been able to get across the ditch uh, in, with COVID um, and also the fact that the shearing rates in New Zealand have gone up so it's more attractive for the New Zealand shearers to stay in New Zealand and do their shearing rather than come to Australia. And also shearing's not for everyone, so it's probably been a little bit hard over the last uh, 10 or 20 years to attract uh, new players into the industry. Having said that, the Australian wool industry, AWI, have been doing some really good things um, with shearer training, trying to attract uh, young people into the industry. And I think over the last few years, they're having a bit of success with that. Um, so there's, there should be a new generation of shearers coming through. And there's also been a fair bit of work done on things to make shearing a little bit easier, so eliminating the catch and drag is probably the main focus. And nowadays there are things like the shearing schools which are really good at uh, getting the shearers trained up in the proper techniques for shearing um, and, and make it a lot easier on their body uh, overall compared to somebody who's sort of learnt the hard way, if, as, you, as it were and uh, maybe has some techni bad technique and uh, so they put more strain on their body than they need to. Anyway, let's see what I can put together. It might be a bit of a mishmash of a video, but uh, we'll see what it looks like. Righto, let's go and have a look. This is the Barry Pearson stand. <laughs> Barry, sure for how many years, Jason, did he shear at, uh, at Argyle? 50 odd. 50 odd years, yeah. He's sort of semi-retired, isn't he? Semi. Semi-retired, yeah. yeah. So this is Barry, he's 69 years old, one heart attack and still going like a paper. Oh no, we're not on that again. Is it only one heart attack, Barry, or two? No. Eh? Only one heart attack or two? Oh, I think I had a couple. A couple, yeah, a couple of heart attacks. How many years have you been shearing, Barry? 54. 54? 54 years he's been shearing. What was your first shed, Barry? Peter Elliott. Hey, Peter Elliott. Yep. Where's Peter Elliott? Dangersley. What, what's, hey? Dangersley. Dangersley. Oh, right Superpod. up. Hey? The Superpod. 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 Did you know the Superpod? No. Did you know no. Peter Elliott? No, 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 I don't know. No, yeah. really? Oh, everyone knows Peter. Oh, well, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So, Barry, in 54 years shearing, how many sheep have you shorn? A big mob. <laughs> A big mob. A couple of million? Oh, yes. Yes. Well, how many in a, in a good in a good season, peak season, how many would you have shorn? Uh, 30,000. 30,000 in a, in a year. In a year? Yeah. Something like that. And as an average year, an average over 54 years, 20,000 a year? Oh, no, no, me and my first time. So I'm yeah. only a learner. You're only a learner. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long and hard 
Okay. Soup run. Soup run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes I find after lunch they go this faster. Friday's the worst. Friday's the worst? Yeah. yeah. You know what that is? No. Two days to Monday. Two days to Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much nearly finished now. Only, only a pen full or so to go. Well, these fellas here, they just haven't quite figured out the way out yet, but I think they're on it. Funky glass, Barry. Yeah. Should have started with that one, mate. Yeah, yeah you've got yeah. back feet. Yeah. Eh? That's more than that stuff. Good job, Barry. Good job. Good job. Good. That's a great day. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. You can turn it off now, man. You do the same for a while. Okay, so today we're crutching. Um, so what crutching involves is taking the wigs off the uh, around the head so that the sheep can see so they don't become wool blind. Um, and you also take off wool around the bum. Um, and the idea of that is to remove the urine stains and also any dags that might accumulate there and that helps to prevent fly strike. Um, and the other thing that you do with the weathers is take a bit off around the pizzle as well so that removes any urine stains from around the pizzle and again it reduces the risk of fly strike. So that's the object of crutching and those sheep have been very good. They've gone and loaded themselves straight into the wool shed behind me I think. So that's really cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. So we've got two crutches today. We've got uh, Stevie, who's an experienced shearer and he's shorn for us a fair bit before. And there's also young Jack. Jack's uh, just learning and he's going really well actually. He's, he's very good, he's very tidy and he's been taught well. It's great to see these young fellas coming through. So this is young Jack, he's just learning. Yeah, so young Jack just started at Christmas time and he's going really well. Good young fella. Have you given him a few tips, Stevie? No, I just had a new, um, just bought a new grind, um, second hand grinder. Oh, right. And I was trying to fix him, um, like fix the batter from yep. a better grind, and then, yeah, okay. I'm getting a way better grind. Right. You going alright, Jack? There you go, darling. It was a bit of a slow start this morning because we got halfway up here and the road was cut because there was a traffic accident, we think. We're not sure. Anyway, we had to turn around and go back and come back a, a, a backtrack. So we, we didn't get started until about quarter past eight or something like that instead of 7.30. So um, we're a little bit behind schedule, but anyway, we'll make it up, no doubt. And if we don't, there's always tomorrow. Oh well, yeah, we're into the weathers now. These are much bigger sheep. Um, that's been battling on manfully. Big job for a young fella. Doing a good job. Pretty hard work there for young Jack. and put a few more in the pen. So it takes a bit of wool off around the head there and that means that the sheep aren't going to get wool blind. And then because this is the weather we take a bit off around the fizzle. And around the bum. So you can see that 
there's not very much stain on these weathers, they don't really get any stain, but they sometimes get a bit of dags on their, on their bum. So as usual, I forgot to film the end of all of this, so here's Sarah writing out the checks for the boys. Good day. <laughs> big day, yes, good it day. was a big good day, job. wasn't it? Good Craig came to pick up Jack. What are we done? How are you, mate? You all right? Better now. Better now? <laughs> yeah, yeah a big day, mate. That was a great effort. Yeah. Thank you. Well done, Jack. Yeah, no, that's a big effort for a young fella. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Well done, mate. Thank you. Yeah, Thank well you. done. Yeah. Righto, so. Hand that one. So that was uh, 150 weathers and 440 hoggets, was it, sweaty? Like Something like that, in round figures, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Stevie, good job, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for that. No worries. Well done, mate. Told Appreciate you it. Done. Hey? I told you we can yeah, you did too, yeah. You had to go you had to go a long day, but you've done well, mate. Oh good on you, Orf. This is Orf. Oh Orf, oh mate, how are ya? There's bloody pets at the back here. Oh Orf, you silly old sausage. Come on, Orf. You're not getting out of it that easily. <laughs> you big old toad. Orf.